Swarm clock, landing of two microquadrotors on human hands using wearable tactile interface driven by light intensity. Takeoff and landing operations often require an accurate positioning system which could be a problem for microquadrotors. Hence, the human could supplement these challenging swarm operations. However, interaction strategies for such cases have not yet been considered properly, especially when more than one drone has to be landed at the same time. To solve the problem, we propose a novel interaction strategy to land multiple drones on the human hands using vibrotactile feedback. We design tactile interface that delivers the information about the position of the drone with respect to the landing paths using the light emitted from the bottom of the drone. The user is supposed to adjust the position of the landing pad in order for the drone to be landed on top of it. Each of two landing pads consists of landing plate and seven sensor vibrator units connected to the palm. The vibration is activated by the light emitted from the drone. If the drone is far away, no vibration occurs. While the drone approaches the human hands, the vibration intensity is gradually increasing. To evaluate the device, we conducted a user study experiment with seven participants. We have two types of experiments. In experiment 1, we ask users to land one drone on the right hand. In experiment 2, the users landed two drones on both hands. In both experiments, we asked to perform landing under multiple conditions with pure tactile feedback, with pure visual feedback, with a combination of visual and tactile feedback, and with slow and fast descending speed. Experimental results. Two-way ANOVA of drone position, positions showed a statistically significant difference for all feedback speed conditions. The combination of visual and tactile feedback helps to reduce the landing positioning error by 20%. During the landing of two drones, the combination of tactile and visual feedback helped to reduce the motion dynamics of the human head. Snap is decreased by 14 times. When we add second drone, in case of visual feedback, the positioning error increase. But for the tactile feedback, second drone do not cause significant error increase. As a conclusion, we have developed a novel system for landing of two drones on the human hands using tactile feedback, which helps to reduce the landing positioning error by 20%. The more drones, the better tactile feedback works. For the future work, we propose to deploy drones with the swarm clock technology in remote areas. The proposed device also can augment the perception of flying or moving objects in virtual reality applications. Although the current work considers landing of only two drones, a possible extension could be to arrange more landing pads on the forearms.